All right, folks, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation 4 Remote Play working on the NVIDIA Shield tablet. So the PlayStation 4 Remote Play app just came out on the store, and it's only compatible for Xperia, the Xperia Z3, but it has been ported, and I'll put a link down in the description to the XDA forms um, on how to do it, and I might make a tutorial also if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. So... Um, this basically allows you to play your PlayStation 4 games on any Android, almost any Android phone or tablet you have. I'm using this with my uh, DualShock controller, but the DualShock controller doesn't natively work. Uh, you have to do a trick to make it work with the uh, Shield tablet or Android. You have to do a second user switch. Uh, I'll get into that later. It does have on-screen controls as well, so you can touch and play the game, which I'm going to... So, let's just go into Wolfenstein over here. So, this is Wolfenstein, uh, the new order from the PlayStation 4, being streamed onto the Shield tablet. And as you can see, it works pretty well. I mean, uh, the gameplay is quite smooth. Uh, sorry about the volume, let me just lower that a bit. So uh, it runs really smooth, just as good as the Vita. I'm using my dual band router to stream this, and uh, I haven't had any problems with it so far. Uh, it runs pretty well. Uh, just to show you guys, you can always just go into the menus and pretty much do all the things you can do in your remote play uh, PlayStation 4, the same way when you remote play PlayStation 4 from your Vita. Um, all the features seem to work and uh, you can use touch screen controls as well if that's something you want to do uh, you can use your iPega well not your iPega well it depends on the mapper you use if you use tin core you can actually map all the keys and play it with your uh, iPega controller if you have one so um yeah, this is just, it works pretty smooth. I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And I'm going to try and make a tutorial video as well. So, as always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. But as always, thank you for watching.